What's going on YouTube? GeoSnow right here. In today's video I have some great news for those of you who are waiting for a stable jailbreak for iOS 10.3.x on the 64-bit devices. Goblin has finally been released as a release candidate, which means it is finally stable enough to be used by non-developers and it might not cause problems. Now it finally exited its beta stage and it has been updated here on the official website today. You know, actually four hours ago or three hours ago by Sticktron. Sticktron is this guy in here, you can follow him on Twitter, I definitely recommend that in order to stay updated about a Goblin and many many other updates. Uh, so how you get it? Well, you can either get in from here, download Goblin RC1, you press and you get the IPA, and of course you can also compile the code yourself, which is available in here. The code has of course been updated to reflect the RC1. RC means release candidate. So um, this is pretty much what's going on for the moment. This jailbreak works on iOS 10.3, 10.3.1, 10.3.2 and 10.3.3 .3 on 64-bit devices prior to the iPhone 7. So if you have an iPhone 7 or 7 Plus, 8, 8 Plus or 10, this jailbreak will not work for you and that's unfortunate. But if you have an iPhone 6s, 6s Plus or lower up to the uh, 5s, this will work with no problem. So um, you can also compile lists of offsets and so on if you're a developer and you want to help. But for the moment, these are the compatible devices. If your device should be supported, you know, it's not an iPhone 7 or 7 Plus and so on, but it's still not supported, then you can contact Sticktron and uh, um, he might be able to help you out. However, uh, you can, as I said, download it directly from here if you don't want to mess up with code and jailbreak. Now, in order to jailbreak, you need CDI Impactor. And um, speaking about this jailbreak, yes, this jailbreak is semi untethered. In fact, I do not think we're going to see an untethered jailbreak for iOS 11 or 10.3.3 on 64-bit anytime soon. So yeah, uh, assume the fact that most of the jailbreaks in the future will probably be um, semi-untethered. So you will have to re-sign them every seven days unless you purchase an Apple developer account, which would allow you to sign any IPAs for one year and of course to develop apps. However, um, if you want to jailbreak with this jailbreak, I still recommend you to be very careful. Yes, it is in RC1 and it should no longer be very dangerous. Cydia does work. There is a list of tweaks available for Goblin that work perfectly fine. You can check it out in the description down below if you want to know what can you install with Goblin. And yes, I recommend this one for uh, beginners right now. It's, it's okay, it's stable, but I still don't recommend messing up with files and files inside the file system. I still don't recommend trying to apply various, you know, shady fixes for various stuff. If something doesn't work and you know it doesn't work and the community knows it doesn't work, please wait for an official patch or an official uh, workaround. Do not try to apply fixes you find from the internet because it might end up in a bootloop or even worse. So you don't want to lose your ability to jailbreak in the future by updating your firmware forcefully. So do not try to apply fixes you find from the internet on untrusted parties. Just make sure you're using the official Goblin from here. Do not download it from any other places, especially since it's a jailbreak and it can become dangerous if somebody bundles ads in it. Yes, Tweakbox, I'm talking about you. And um, it's a better idea to get it from here. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it about this jailbreak. You can follow Sticktron on Twitter. So we should be really thankful to this guy. He brought iOS 10.3.3 64-bit jailbreak to the scene. So that's pretty nice. And um, CDI Impactor can be downloaded from cdimpactor.com. Once you have it, you need to open it and you will be able to connect your device and deploy the IPA that you get for Goblin RC1 in here. Now, in order to update, you just uninstall the RC1 or you uninstall the beta that you have already and you switch to the next one or to the new one. So that should fix your problem. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. I'm Geosnow. Until the next time, peace out.